Christmas, my true love sent to me. Fine ladies dancing. I'm sitting by two pairs of um, shoes that belonged to the Empress Eugenie of France in the 19th century. She married Napoleon III and these two pairs with the ribbon ties we think were probably her dancing slippers dating from about 1854. Um, there, this is a fantastic um, and interesting history of why the Bowes Museum have part of Empress Eugenie's wardrobe, um, because she is an exact contemporary of our founder, Josephine Bowes. They were born within a year of each other, and I think Josephine really, really looked up to um, the, the Empress, um, particularly because she was so influential in fashion. She was the leader of fashion, not only in Paris but also in England they reported what she wore, what fashion she wore in uh, magazines like the Queen and of course in, in, in France um, everybody looked to her to see what the latest things were to wear. So the fact that we have part of her wardrobe is extraordinary because it didn't come via Josephine Bowe's um, collection. It came in the 1950s through um, a local benefactor who was um, just really, really interested and wrote books on Napoleon III. What fascinates me about this collection is um, partly because it is, they are delightful and particularly the shoes. And to think that she kept these pieces from the early years of her marriage and brought them to England um, when she was exiled from France in 1870. So they came to her to England and she kept them and they were sold at Christie's after her death in 1920. So they must have meant a lot to her um, to have kept them all this time and they would remind her of her young days um, going to wonderful balls and wearing these tiny little satin slippers with a little rosette, silk rosette pom-poms and the ribbon ties. They have the maker's name inside them, um, a little printed label, um, V-A-S-T-A, um, of uh, Rue de la Paix, Paris. And there's also, has one of them, each one of them has um, the word uh, inscribed, La Rempritrice, Duat. And Duat, of course, means right. Um, and so these shoes are not are called straights. They're not right or left at that date. Um, they were just made straight. But often one was marked um, Duat so that you would know that you always wore that on your right foot so they wouldn't become misshapen if you, if, if you mixed that, mix them up. So it's, it, it, they're, they're fascinating in their own right. They look as if they've hardly been worn, perhaps once for one ball only. Um, and also the interesting thing about these is that they're so light and delicate. Um, and originally they really started being worn right at the beginning of the 19th century um, when classical fashions, white muslins were worn and these little tiny slippers were worn for every day um, with their ribbon ties. And they were actually called sandals at that point because of their Grecian um, and classical connections. <laughs> 